with the new year i've been doing a lot of reflection and thinking i sort of realized that you know last year i was really focused on getting settled figuring out that work-life balance family balance friend balance how to eat how to clean and spend my money um figuring out my career and just literally everything just how to live essentially and thankfully i do feel like i've gotten the hang of a lot of it and i don't have to actively think about it as much every once in a while i'm off schedule but i i know how to get back on track you know something i've been thinking about is that all my life i've always had such a clear goal of like what i'm working towards you know whether it's high school graduation getting into college getting an internship getting a job you know graduating from college there was always something that came next and i'm really realizing in the time right now that uh nothing comes next like it's up to me to decide and at first it was fun because it was like every day i got out of work and i could do whatever i want but now i'm like oh my gosh if i just do whatever i feel like doing forever i'm not really gonna do that much if i'm being honest like i'm just gonna have somewhat of a good time but will i be proud of it down the line i'm not so sure you know and even in the past year after i got my full-time job i feel like i was still very focused on like the next checkpoint because being hired straight out of college as like a college grad officially i felt like i really had to work to like prove myself um to others and to myself to know that like i'm capable enough to do the job that i was hired to do so i really worked towards trying to not feel like a new grad anymore and I think I've made good progress in that regards, but like even that was like a very clear goal of mine, you know? Something that I have realized is that a lot of life has become habitual um, and I'm not really sure what I'm working towards and there's plenty of things that I want to do and it feels like I don't have enough time to do it but like that's just not how I want to live the rest of my life. At least in regards to work, I decided to ask my manager just for some feedback, insights on like what he thinks that I should be working on or like focusing on. And I think unknowingly, he gave me a solution to probably all of my life and not just work. Um, and it's so small. He was just suggesting that like, oh, have you ever made a five year plan before? Um, if not, I think you should look into it. There's like a few like methods or like, you know, worksheets that you could fill out to do it. Um, why don't you look one up and just give it a try? And honestly, I was just kind of just like thinking like, oh, you know, I mean, like I'll do it. Maybe it'll help. I didn't think anything would come out of it. In the past, every time I thought about the idea of a five-year plan, it just seemed kind of silly because the plan was very clear. It was graduate from college, you know, get a full-time job. And... I don't know it just seems so obvious you know like everything that i did automatically worked towards that it wasn't really like i don't know there was no decision making it was just like you need to work you need to make money whatever but this time you know i couldn't imagine what my life will look like in five years so i looked up an article to try and help me you know figure out this five-year plan thing and something that they suggested was to imagine your life in five years and how you want it to be just word dump it you know and it gave me a bunch of categories to think about like financial home relationships friends um hobbies skills talents whatever and it was literally just like oh in regards to all of these like what do you want to see yourself doing in those five years you know and that made it a lot more easier to picture what my life will look like at 28 than it is just to be like oh well what do you want to be doing in five years because honestly i don't know but when you talk about and break it down into like okay well how do you want your finances to be and how do you want your relationship with your friends to be how many you know vacations in a year do you want to take and once i word dumped all of that it became a lot more clear what i wanted in five years and it was both reassuring to know that some of the things that I'm already doing is helping me and leaving me on track to reach those goals and to live the life that I want to live. But it was also a little bit of a rude awakening to realize that I'm not doing everything that I need to do if I want to live my life the way that I'm hoping I will be living in five years. And honestly, one of those main things was fitness and health. When I think about fitness and health, I'm like, oh, 
yeah, I want to be healthy, I want to be exercising regularly, but in reality, I don't do that at all, okay? I will go on a walk, I'll do some jump roping, I'll play Just Dance, and I'm like, that's exercise. But is that what I imagined my healthy body to be like at 28? I really don't think so. And so it was kind of an awakening. Like, if I want to be that in five years, I need to be doing something now to help me get there because like there's no difference between them. There's nothing that's magically going to happen. I need to make it happen. Okay, but in all honesty, even after making this five year plan, I still kind of lack the motivation to commit. And it honestly seemed very intimidating to be doing things that I was hoping that I'd be doing in five years. I had to start now, so kind of scary. Weirdly, okay, not really weirdly, but unexpectedly, um, I feel like my coworker really kicked me into gear and it was super unintentional, you know? It was just like a lunch conversation and I was just like, hey, what are your New Year's resolutions? And then when I was going to share, I was like, oh, mindlessly, oh, I think I might wanna start to exercise and be active by the end of the year. And I know everyone goes to the gym at the beginning of the year, so I might wait a few months and then start. And in the meantime, I'll clean out my closet. That's my goal. And she was like, no, start today. You have the motivation today, so start today, start now, why wait? And for some reason, that literally just clicked in my mind like so much and I don't even know what to say, but I literally couldn't stop thinking about it for like the rest of the day and it just got my motivation skyrocketing like through the roof. I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna start today. I'm gonna make a plan. I'm gonna look into this shit. I'm gonna own it. And the funny thing is that I don't even like New Year's resolutions. I literally thought that they're kind of stupid because, you know, it's like you can set a goal at any time. You don't need a new year to start anything, you know? But honestly, after living life post-grad where there's zero structure, no spring break, no summer break, no new school year, no new semester, no time period where all everything just ends, I'm like, yes give me a new year oh my gosh i am welcoming the new year with open arms like this feels like a fresh start this feels like what i needed to change my mindset and get out of like the slump that i was like rolling down for the few months so basically now i do have a five-year plan and i do have new year's resolutions and i am going to conquer them and tackle my resolutions during the time period that i am least proud of myself and that time period is right after work when I go on my phone for like an hour and I'm like, where did the hour go? I have no clue at all. <laughs> the after work slump is what I like to call it. So I basically chose um, three categories of things that I'm going to tackle every single day when I'm done with work. And it's only three hours and you know what? That means the rest of the time I can be free. I can do whatever I want. If the motivation continues, then I ride with it. If the motivation doesn't continue, then I can be a couch potato, whatever. So right now my three things are to do one hour of fitness, one hour of just like chores, overhead planning, whatever, you know, like life things that I need to do. And one hour of a hobby that I feel like doing that day because I think those are the three most important things that if I turn it into a routine, it will lead me to the life that I want to be living and one that I will be proud of. So to summarize, I would like to tackle 2023 with more intentionality in my life and to live a life that I will be proud of that leads me towards a situation that I will be really proud of and happy in and to not just let the days pass by. Let's see how long I can go. I think the whole key to this is that it's not just like a checklist, even though I love checklists, it's kind of like a mindset change, you know? And if I can get my mind to live the life that I want to live, I don't know, I just think that would be amazing. If I don't hold up to it, I'll have this video to look back on and be disappointed in myself and probably laugh in my own face. But hopefully in a year, I'll look back at this video and be like, wow, I'm so glad for those moments and those revelations because it led me to where I am now. Dash Valina in 2024. <laughs> now let's go work out. Ugh. <sighs>